Hey everybody, Spurgle here again, and welcome back for the next episode of this hatchet example port. This time we are going to be opening up Blender and making the resolution lots again. And this item is it's pretty low poly, so we shouldn't need too many. I'm still going to do exactly the same as I did in the belt bag tutorial and duplicate this oh, we'll go three three or four times save it minimize get rid of that get rid of all these uh, textures from the previous episode don't need them anymore how many textures did I have open don't need that this is our main let's quickly clear this up because we're done with all of them and we are also done with that one oh no not all of them just the tgas we'll keep the co don't need the as either yep clean that up okay back to res lots Blender. Get rid of that. Go to file. Remember, um, Armor Three tools installed. I'll let you Google to work out how to do that. Open up a P three D. Go to your P drive and find the P three D. That was an error. What was that? Oh, can't export. Need to import. Silly. Do that again, shall we? There it is. That is not a hatchet. Ah, oh, it is a hatchet. It looks like a locker, but we are viewing the geometry lots. We're going to hide all of them. So actually, again, hide all the lots. Don't need to touch zero a lot. Let's hide that one. We'll just select one. We're going to go modifiers. Add a modifier. Good old decimate. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in Blender. No, it's only small run half it straight away didn't do too bad a little bit messed up around the edges let's go for the 0 0.6 6 make a third off yeah all good. Hide one. Show two. Select two. Get the picture, same as we did last time. Go for half of that again. Okay, now I'll deal with the uh, shading. Can we fix that at all? No. It's just gonna get ugly. We're well down below five hundred already. That's, that's good. I do get three. Select that mesh. Decimate. Not point one 
five. And then four. No point. No seven five. Whoa, that's gonna be nasty. But it'll work. It's to optimize it. So we can now if I remember correctly I had to export it as an FBX. I'll drop that on the desktop. Open up a new object builder. Did I open two? Yes, I open two. File import FBX desktop and I do it. We only really want to import those ones. We don't want it that scale though. Bingo. So if we select one, Control C. Go to one, delete the entity. Paste in the new entity. Um, nope, that one. Select two, Control C. You remember exactly the same process as I did in the belt bag. There we go. And four. So in each one of those that I've just done, I'm gonna to wanna to redefine hatchet, delete the letter, and apply textures. the texture and material. Apply OK to green. Redefine that, delete that, and texture it. Lots of repetitive actions doing some of this stuff. But it's always worth adding your res lots. They um they just optimize your imported item. The game doesn't have to load as many polys and vertices at more distance. Check one, because I'm pretty sure I was messing around with the destruct and damage our VMAX. We'll reapply that. There we go. Res lots completed. That's all the work needed in the P3D and on the textures, or enough of the work needed for this um, example. Next time, all that leaves is config, model config, and a couple of scripts. So, catch you next time, peeps.